So this year I've been well, I've not done as nearly as much as I wanted to do in the Lotus. A few reasons. Uh, a group of friends I've got um, were all car fanatics, but a couple of the cars within the group have broken down and unfortunately keep breaking down. So any road trips we had planned as a group have completely gone out the window. So here I am. What I'm about to do is set off to Caffeine Machine. You've probably all heard of it. It looks amazing. I wanted to go for a while. So it's about three and a half hours for me to get there. I'm gonna take my time, stop off a couple away, get some lunch, and of course, some coffee because you know, caffeine and machine, obviously. As you can see, the GoPro is set up behind me, so I'm gonna be getting a few little bits of the trip on my way down but typical British fashion the heavens have opened because I was planning on taking a roof off at some point but you knew now the stance let's hope it changes right let's go hope you guys can hear me because I've never um, never tested the GoPro at speed in the Lotus I'm about 15 minutes out from the cafe in the machine now and it occurred to me on the drive down that I've never spoke about this car, really, what it's like to drive, and I've had it for going on a year. And surprisingly, on a long run, it's quite comfortable. Down here, you've got lumbar adjustments. I'm going to pump it up, like. Eh? It's like a... There you go, yeah. Really good support that I have back. Once it's nice and pumped up, it looks like a woman who's just come out of an aesthetics clinic. Nice plump feeling in the back. But to drive, to be honest, the best way I can sum it up, it's like driving a go-kart. It is literally that. Just go kart on the road. Now, when you're driving along on a long run like this, yeah, it's noisy, it's not very refined. And it can rattle more than two skeletons having a fight in a biscuit tin. I don't care about any of it though. I'm not worried, really worried about refinement or creature comforts. To be honest, it's been about three hours since I've been driving. I feel fine. My right leg, got no cruise control, my right leg feels all good. Get out, just have a bit of a stretch, that's it, job done. Some people have got to have everything cruise control, heated seats, massage seats. I don't like previous cars. I don't miss it. I bought this purely for the driving thrills. Thrills? Thrills. So when you get on a back on a back B road like this, well I'm stuck behind a wagon at the moment. It's been a, pretty much a scene with this drive. Um, you throw it into a corner and it's all real. The feedback from the steering is like seconds and on. It almost turns on thoughts alone. I've drove some cars in the past and the steering's more long, more numb than the local anaesthetic. I feel like when you come out to the dentist and you can't feel your cheeks. That's what I feel like in some cars, the steering. But I love it. I love how rare it is. I love how it makes me feel. I did the big going topless all the way, but, but it's been on and off with the showers to be honest. Even though it's 20 degrees outside, it has been raining quite a bit, but I didn't want to chance it. Right now I'm sweating my tits off because it's really warm in here. Of course we've got no air conditioning. Just adds weight. And that's not the theme of this car. Lotus did do later versions though where electric windows and air conditioning were all optional extras. But they did add all weight. And imagine it didn't take much weight from the driving experience though. So I'm about 10 minutes away now from in the machine and I've not seen any exotic machinery as of yet I'm hoping we're going to see some soon and I'm hoping you can hear me oh that's a little bit the Lotus factory warranty hang on what's that some sort of Lotus facility I'm taking a trip down on the way back I had no idea I was there what a coincidence that is it <laughs> Right, I'm going to open these windows now, I'm going to turn the camera off. <laughs> That's really warm, it's like sitting in the sauna. Next time I see you guys, we'll be a cafe in the machine. Well here we are. Great room. 
Caffeine and Machine, loving you guys so far. So I've just been checked in, just been shown around the room, which is great by the staff. And I've just been told at five o'clock this evening, the Porsche Owners Club are gonna be turning up. It's like 80 odd Porsches being registered. So that's gonna be pretty cool to go down, have a little look, hopefully speak to some, see what models turn up, because I do love myself a Porsche. I was very close to my one before I bought the Lotus. It was a very, very close call, but obviously it went down Lotus ownership. But that's not to say one day we're not gonna have a Porsche. But let's have a little look room, around the room, show you guys around and see what you think. Cause I love it, it's a cute little room. Did I just say cute? I just said a cute little room. So you've got all the exposed beam works there, which is really, really nice. Looks great, adds a lot of character to the room. A huge double bed, love that. Lovely and comfy. Love this sort of like design USA 1914. And of course, coffee making facilities. I've not had a coffee for ages, so I'm gonna get on that right away. Some sweets there as well, which is cool. Bathroom's great, great size shower. And sink. Toilet, of course. Down there, no one wants to see the toilet, right? So I'm gonna get ready, freshen up, have a coffee. I'm gonna go downstairs, see what the crack is. Maybe grab a couple of drinks. A little bit hungry as well, so grab some food. Let's go. It's always interesting coming to the car parks of these types of things because everyone who attends them always has interesting cars themselves that you may not necessarily you may miss out on if you don't have a come and have a look. So I've literally just come around the back of the uh, caffeine machine. Now just have a little look, and behind me we've got gorgeous Integra Type R, an old Civic, of course a Porsche Macan S, and then we've got a uh, Golf yeah, Mark II. Looks like it's been lowered quite a bit and then a Subaru. I'm not too sure which version that is, but it's my favourite version personally of the Subaru. I absolutely love that shape. The 987 Boxster S, this is something that I nearly bought before the Elise. I do like them, I must admit. It's Alcantara leather steering and I have on the gearbox. Nice Alcantara trim steering wheel there as well. Got the bow sound system and a leather interior. It's a nice spec this one to be fair. And it is the S model. That's 3.2 flat 6. Yeah, that's a great first day of Cathy in the machine. So during a Porsche event. <laughs> A few Ferraris turned up and one was speaking to one of the owners there, great guy. He let, let me jump in his Ferrari, it's a 599 GTS. Oh my god, unreal. He said, give it a blip with a throttle, so I had a little blip, but I didn't want to take it to the red line because it's not my car, but he did. Here we go. Unreal, what a noise. Hearing it in person was just like, oh. And you could just see the Porsche owners looking over going, oh, what's, this, what's going on over there? Like, so, that was so good. The next day. Good morning, everyone. Miserable weather, unfortunately. But you know, this is England, it is September. It's gonna happen. Honestly, I had a great night's sleep last night and woke up to find that beautiful basket uh, full of little breakfast items, which is really, really nice. Great little touch guy, by the way, great touch. I've loved every second of my stay here at Cafe in the Machine. I will be back, because last night when the camera went away, I had some great conversations with the Porsche, cr Porsche Club. And of course, the couple of Ferrari boys turned up, which is great. And I loved it. It was just having just nice conversations about cars, everything cars, and more cars. It was like, oh, this is heaven. I absolutely loved this. It. it was great hanging around with like-minded people. And that's what this place is all about. 
it's fully inclusive, everyone's welcome, doesn't matter what you've got, the only criteria is you've got to be a petrol head. I hope you liked the video, if you did drop me a comment, drop me a like and also a subscribe would be great because I really would like to get this channel going, I mean look, I say that every time because I know I've got to be more consistent with the content but hopefully going forward that's going to be the case. I will speak to you very soon, see you in the next one.